The West Orange Cove School District has amended its virtual learning policy and dozens of students could be forced to return to school in person. 12 News reporter Jordan James explains why the new policy has sparked some outrage with some parents. The policy has sparked a lot of outrage across the district among students and parents. Many say they feel like they're having to choose between their education or their health. Virtual learning has become a way of life during the pandemic. The prospect of it not being available has Ryan Malunson concern. This decision doesn't just affect money. It doesn't just affect kids' education. It affects the lives of the parents and the grandparents that these students will come in contact with. Alonson has two kids in West Orange Cove School District. They recently announced students who are not passing with more than five absences can no longer participate in virtual learning. It's a decision that has sparked outrage in a Alonson household. The schools made, made a situation that they could have managed a, a lot worse. By what they're doing. A district spokesperson says a number of students simply aren't showing up or not completing coursework. So the district felt the need to make this change. Rain. Keith Malone's son daughter says her biggest concern is potentially bringing the virus home. District says there are a few exceptions. Some of those are passing classes, health conditions, or if you've been exposed to the virus. It's not enough and is willing to do whatever it takes to protect his kid. If I have to pull him from the district, I will. They will not be going back. Again, it's it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when they will catch COVID at these schools. Students who have met the criteria that the district has set are expected to return to campus on Monday, October 5th. For anyone with concerns about the policy, you're encouraged to contact the district. Reporting here from West Orange, Jordan James, 12 News.